Call the public hearing to order to Thursday, sorry, Thursday, November 6th, 2014. I don't know why I'm having trouble reading this. <laughs> to November 6th, 2014, 9.30 a.m. Could I have a roll call, please? Commissioner Tedesco? Here. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Hansen? Here. Could everybody please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, do we have a motion to approve the agenda? I'd like to move for, for it to be approved with the exception of pulling off 1B off the agenda. 1B. 1B or 7? B1. Second, I guess. Okay. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Tedesco? Aye. Okay. I guess we have right now, we're going to change up the schedule today. We need a resolution approving the award of open space grant awards and grant agreements. Do I have a motion? Right. So moved. <laughs> Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Tedesco? Aye. Awards and presentations. So today we are pleased to award more than $5.3 million from our open space grant funds to applicants from our Adams County Open Space Sales Tax Grant Program. Funding for this grant cycle comes from the Adams County Open Space Sales Tax, which is passed by the Adams County voters in 1999. Funds this grant cycle were collected in the first half of 2014. The Open Space Advisory Board reviewed 22 grant applications this grant cycle. Following the recommendations of the Advisory Board, we are happy to fund eight of the projects in full and 11 projects in part. Accordingly, today, the Board of County Commissioners is awarding 19 open space grants. The success of this program lies in the hands of our Open Space Advisory Board members. They take the time to do a careful review of each and every grant application to ensure the projects that are recommended for funding will be of great benefit to the Adams County, the citizens of Adams County. I want to take the time right now to introduce your advisory board members. We have our chair, John Strider, if you could please stand up. Vice Chair, Christy Dowling. Could you please, is she here? Not here. Gloria Rudden, did not see Gloria Rudden here. Ed Hickel, thank you very much. Drew Morris, Catherine, Kathleen Dodero, is she here? No, okay. Karen Dunn, not here either. All right, well I wanna give a round of applause to those people. I also want to thank you for your service. What you do is very time consuming and to volunteer to be on this and to do the things that you do is greatly appreciated. And I think on behalf of all the citizens of Adams County, we want to say thank you. Um, in the interest of time, we're going to present all of the awards in front of the dais. So you'll see us move here in a minute. This will not only help us save time, but we, will help us avoid any awkwardness and shuffling back and forth. So we're going to move from here now to in front and then we'll continue. I get to read from, is that on? Can you guys hear me? Can anybody hear me? Cool, all right. Uh, the first two grant awards go to the city of North Glen. The first grant is for Huron Crossing Park Improvement Projects in the amount of $5,000. The second is for the Recreation Center Pool Rehabilitation, yay, for $150,000. Representing the city of North Glen are Joyce Downing, Mayor John, Mayor, Joyce Downing, Mayor, John Pick, City Manager, uh, Dana Keist, is it Kester? Kester? 
Kester, Parks Project Coordinator, and Amanda Peterson, Director of Parks and Recreation and Cultural Services. Please come forward to accept your awards. Get all of us. Getting a good focus here this morning. <laughs> Rich, I don't know what's going on. I'm always having a hard time focusing in the morning, especially. Bear with us here, folks. <laughs> That's it. That's right. Wouldn't be the first time now, would it? I can take it. Yeah, this is a uh, good. Something's Thank you very much. Uh, the next is the city of Brighton uh, for the Pheasant Ridge Bark Park, not Bark, <laughs> Bark Beautification Project for $3,600, and the Northgate Park Design and, Re and Construction Project for $180,000. And uh, do we have Gary Wardle here today? Gary is not here. I'm substitute Gary. Uh, Your substitute Hyde. Gary? So can we call you that? <laughs> All right, one, two, three. One more time. There you go, Commissioner. All right, thank you. All right. Who was it, me? I'm, I'm up. You're up. All right, our next grant recipient is the City of Aurora. The City of Aurora is receiving funds for two projects. One is the Montview Park renovation for $386,000, and the second for the Star K Ranch North acquisition for $174,317. Representing the city of Aurora for the Montview project are Chris Ricardello, I think I said that right, uh, Principal Landscape Architect, and Tracy Young, Manager of Planning, Design, and Construction. Here for the Star K Ranch Project are Council Member Rini Peterson and Tracy Young, Manager of Planning and Design and Construction. Why don't you step up? We'll give you your certificates. Next, Bennett Park and Recreation District is receiving an award for their 2014 Utility Management Project. This award is for $21,000. Representing the Bennett Park and Recreation District is Chris Raines, Executive Director. Would you please come forward to accept your award? Is Chris here? No Chris. Okay. <laughs> Um, the next is the town of Bennett, um, which will receive $120,000 for the Trump Park Phase 2 project. And do we have someone here from the town of Bennett? Rachel Summers and Trish Stiles. Uh, please come forward. Right. Thank you. You got it? Yeah. 
good. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'll one more just in case. Take one more just in case. Yep, we're good. All right, the next one is the city of Commerce City. Hey, my hometown. All right. Well, this is my hometown now. That's my home hometown. Is, I, I live in Commerce City now, so I have to, you know. The city of Commerce City will receive $518,281 for the outdoor leisure pool at Pioneer Park, which, by the way, just opened and or groundbreaking, and we're very proud of that. Uh, and two hundred thousand dollars for the Frontero neighborhood park project, which I want to say is near my home, and I greatly appreciate that. Uh, re representing the city of Commerce City are Mike Brown, Parks Planning and Operations Manager, and Karen O'Donnell, Recreation Division Manager. Please come forward. Okay, count three, one, two, three, one more. Thank you. All right, the next one actually is my hometown. It's the only one I claim. Just thought I'd put that out there. <laughs> The next two grants go to the city of Thornton. The first award is the North Creek Farms Project in, um, in the amount of $369,343. The second is for the city of Thornton's Arts and Cultural Center Campus Landscape for $222,796,000. Representing the city of Thornton is Diane Van Fossen, Capital Projects and Planning Manager, along with Paula Schultz. Schultz, Parks and Open Space Project Manager. Thank you. The next award is for Anythink Libraries, and uh, for $32,000, and it is for the Explore Outdoors project. And I think we have Linda Freeze. Freeze, is it Freeze? Is that how you pronounce that? Sure. sure. <laughs> <laughs> that means no. It's Freeze. Freeze. Okay, thank you. It's always a fun word. Thank you. Okay, so I won't claim Westminster as my hometown, or can I? <laughs> can I claim Westminster? So I'd have all three, right? Or all, I'll, I'll just claim everybody. I claim Adams County as my hometown. How's that? The City of Westminster Little Dry Creek Park and Open Space Acquisition today will receive $394,800. Representing the City of Westminster are Council Members Anita Seitz, Bob Briggs, and Emma Pinter, along with Heather... Cronenberg, I hope I said that right, open space coordinator, and if you'd like to step up, we'll give you your certificates. The next one is Highland Hills Park and Recreation, which, by the way, my children learned how to swim at Highland Hills Park and Recreation. Um, Highland Hills Park and Recreation District is receiving two awards. One is for Clear Creek Valley Park 
PASI project for $759,321. And the second is for Clear Creek Valley Park Active Project in the amount of, wow, there's a lot there, $1,329,961. Representing the Highland Hills Park and Recreation Districts are Tom Lynch, Vice President of the Board of Directors, Yvonne Fishback, Executive Director, and Phil Rohn, Board of Directors. Now, if you could come forward, please. Looks, looks like we're missing a couple of people. Phil, <laughs> The next award is to the uh, Strasburg Elementary for phase two of their playground project. It's for $296,982. And uh, we have Mark Taylor, the principal, and Kim Nass, or Noss. Okay, for our last award, we have $5,000 to Adams County for the Twin Lakes Park Mile High Youth Corp Russian Olive Removal Project. <laughs> I have a lot of experience with Russian olive. I'm glad you're getting this money. <laughs> In addition, Adams County receives $200,000 for the Clear Creek Trailhead Reconstruction. Representing Adams County is Mark Perdrucci, Natural Resource Manager. I guess it's just you today, huh? Hey. That's <laughs> awesome. Come on, come on up. Okay, thank you for your participation in the awards. We will resume our regular scheduled program. We're going to move back up. So. Okay, now that we are done with the awards, public comment. Do we have anybody signed up for public comment? No, we do not. Is there anyone in the audience that did not sign up for public comment that would like to do so at this time? Yes, ma'am. Please step forward to the podium and state your name and address for the record. I think I'm in the right place. I received a letter regarding um, the marijuana uh, hearing. Is that here? The marijuana hearing? We have a public hearing on regulations. When is it? December 16th. Oh, has it been moved? Well, I mean, no, we actually are reaching out to the public, talking to them about it. When are those meetings?
Yeah, why don't you go ahead? Thank you. Yeah, I'm why, sorry. why don't we do I, this? I read 9.30 and I was like, oh, i got to be there at 9.30. <laughs> oh. So, uh, right, so we, we are having some public outreach meetings this afternoon right here okay. um, at 1 p.m. and at 3.30 p.m. So, okay. uh, and, and ma'am, today on the schedule uh, during the county attorney, we will have the first reading of the marijuana. Is that what no, it, that no, is? That was removed. From oh, that was removed. So that's not on the hearing today. So okay. I apologize. So. Please come if you can. If, if you could step out, he, he'll <laughs> take care can, of you yeah, and answer can. any questions Thank you have. Sure. Is there anyone else that would like to make some public comment today? Seeing none, elected officials, any public comment? I would actually like to congratulate Commissioner Hansen on his win. Second. For a second term. And uh, looking forward to doing great things again with you. Thank you. All right. No other comments? So I'd like to make a comment, and I just want to say that, you know, over the last few days, I know that the election process has been, I would say, slow. But I think that I would like to say, what I would like to say is that I would want you to know that the people working on this election process, from Karen Long, her staff, all the volunteers, they are putting every ounce of effort into making this a, an election that it cannot be challenged, will not be challenged. They're taking all the details into, into uh, uh, consideration. They're making sure they're doing the proper process. And I'm sure that we will get some results. I'm hopefully positive, if not today, by the end of the week. And I just wanted to say that we give her our support and we hope that we can move on after this week. So thank you to Karen Long, all her staff, and especially all the volunteers that came out to work the election process. Thank you. All right, the next one, consent calendar. Do I have a motion for consent calendar? Move to approve. Second. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. And new business, county manager. Yeah, good morning. There's five items we have this morning. Um, our first one's a resolution approving addendum one to the contract between Adams County and the Johnson Consulting Companies for our lobbying services. And Jen Tierney's here to talk through that. Good morning. Um, Adams County currently uses a firm to, for, to provide state lobbying services, which prov provides representation, information, professional advice, and support services. The county accepted proposals in 2013 to consider companies to provide these services. The Johnson Consulting Companies Incorporated was awarded the agreement. The Johnson Consulting Companies Incorporated has agreed to maintain the current rates for the renewal year at a not to exceed amount of $35,000. County legislative support staff is pleased with the service the Johnson Consulting Companies Incorporated is providing and recommends renewing the agreement. The recommendation is to, to approve the renewal of the agreement to the Johnson Consulting Companies in the amount of $35,000 for 2015. Okay, commissioners, do we have any questions? No questions. Is there any Buddy in the audience that would like to make a comment on this? None? Seeing none, do we have a motion? I move for approval on the lobby service agreement to the Johnson Consulting Companies, Inc. Sorry. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Thank you very much. Next. Okay. Our next item, and uh, Jen is here as well. Um, it's a resolution approving a first addendum to contract between Adams County and systems groups for fire alarm and fire sprinkler system inspection, testing, monitoring, and repair services of all county facilities. Uh, Adams County currently uses a firm to, to provide fire alarm and fire sprinkler system inspection, testing, monitoring, and repair services for all county facilities. The county accepted proposals in 2013 to consider companies to provide these services. Systems Group was awarded the agreement. System, Systems Group has agreed to maintain the current rates for the renewal year at an annual rate of $72,791. The facilities department is satisfied with the performance and service systems group is providing and recommends renewing the agreement for an additional year. The recommendation is to approve the renewal of the agreement to systems group in the amount of $72,791 for 2015. Thank you very much. Commissioners, do we have any questions? No questions. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to make a statement on this? 
Seeing none, do we have a motion? I would move to approve the extension of $72,791 for sprinkler system uh, inspection, testing, and monitoring to systems group. Second. Second. Okay, second. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Next. Thank you. Okay, number three um, is a resolution approving addendum two to an agreement between both Adams County and Community Reach Center for Therapeutic Intervention Services for inmates at the Adams County Detention Center. Eliza Strada with purchasing is here to talk through that as well. Good morning. The Community Reach Center is currently providing therapeutic intervention and treatment uh, services at the Adams County Detention Facility funded by the Jail-Based Behavioral Ser Services Grant. The award was approved by the Board of County Commissioners in September uh, 23rd of this year, and the State of Behavioral Health Services exercised its option for an increase in the amount of services at the same rates specified in the agreement. The current inmate medical services provider is Horizon Health, who is a subcontractor uh, who provides the mental health services. And the State of Colorado approved the Community Reach Center as a designated provider for the specific treatment services described in the grant. The Sheriff's Office recommends amending the agreement to increase the amount of the contract for $42,000. Okay, Commissioners, do we have any questions? No questions. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to make a statement on this subject? Seeing none, do we have a motion? I move for a resolution approving addendum two to agreement between Adams County and the Community Reach Center for Therapeutic Intervention Services for inmates at the Adams County Detention Center. Second. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Tesco? Yes. Thank you. Next. Um, item number four is a resolution approving a change order number one to an agreement between Adams County and Richdale Construction Incorporated for additional concrete work at Rotel Park for the Parks and Community Resources Department. Liz is here to talk to you that as well. Uh, currently, Richdale Construction is the contractor we have on hand to do the Rotel Park improvements. The contract award was approved by the board on June 17th of this year. The change order is to remove a 150-foot old wooden retaining wall that has rotted over time and replace it with a concrete block retaining wall. The second item that needs to be replaced is the concrete edger and the existing wood edging around the volleyball court. In, addi in addition, the estimated cost for the building permits um, that are required for the seven picnic shelters was miscalculated and the difference is also part of the change order. The total amount of the change order is $22,637.92. Commissioners, do we have any questions? No questions. Anyone in the audience like to make a statement on this subject? <coughs> Seeing none, do we have a motion? Sure, move to approve a change order, number one, to the agreement between Adams County and uh, Richdale? Yes. Uh, construction uh, for additional concrete work at Rotella Park for the Parks and Community Resources Department. Second. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Um, our, our last item this morning is a resolution accepting a proposal uh, from URS Corporation for Bridge Scour Structural Design and Environmental Services for the Transportation Department, and Liz is here to talk through that as well. Adams County has four major bridges that require bridge scour structural modifications. It's the 168th Avenue over the South Platte Bridge, McKay Road over South Platte, Henderson Road over South Platte, and the Washington Street Bridge over the Clear Creek. Uh, primarily, design services were previously awarded in, in October of 2013, and a structural recommendation has now been provided. The recommendation calls for the design of micropiles and an environmental analysis. The recommendation calls for the design of, uh, excuse me, a portion of these design services and subsequent construction costs are eligible for federal reimbursement. And to qualify for those uh, federal funds, the Colorado Department of Transportation and the Federal Highway Administration guidelines for procurement um, must, be provi must be followed and the requires a formal solicitation for design services and selection based upon qualification subject to negotiation for fair and reasonable compensation. Um, we sent out the RFP and we received um, three firms who responded on October 21st, 4th, and Transportation Department staff reviewed the evaluation and um, reviewed the proposals and made their evaluation and concluded that URS is the most qualified firm. 
URS Corporation submitted their fee and rate schedule for consideration on, on October 28th, and the Transportation Department considers their design fee for $178,431 a fair and reasonable cost. We anticipate receiving $53,713.20 uh, from the Federal Highway Department. Thank you very much. Commissioners, do we have any questions? Yep. No? I do. Okay. Just a, Commissioner a, a, a quick question. It was in the documentation. What was the design fee that everybody submitted for the project? URS, I'm assuming, was 178431 What was the design fee for the other two? Well, b according to the policies for the federal government, we don't ask for those fees okay. until we select the most qualified ah, firm. That At that why time, it's not here. yes. Okay. I didn't understand that piece. Yes. Because, so because we're using federal money, we're subject to using their guidelines. Yes, we are. I'm with you. That probably explains why it costs so much money to do things at the federal level, by the way. That I can't answer. <laughs> <laughs> any other questions? No other questions. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to make a comment? Seeing none, do I have a motion? Well, actually, you know, it's, it looks like the cost will probably be going down, considering the change in the federal government's uh, structure. Um, I accept a, or go for approval a resolution accepting a proposal from URS corporations for bridge scour structural design and envi environmental services for the Transportation Department. Sorry. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. And let's see where we're at. County Attorney. Good morning, Commissioners. Um, item one. Um, First reading of Ordinance 15 has been withdrawn and will not be read or published. Item number two is uh, the first reading of Ordinance 12, which is actually a current ordinance. This is being repealed and reenacted upon approval of the board. This is an ordinance repealing the 2006 edition of the International Building Codes and adopting the 2012 edition of the International Building Codes and the 2006 edition of the International Energy Conservation Code with amendments thereto. In the body of the proposed ordinance are multiple amendments proposed by your um, neighborhood services division. And the, the, this ordinance will be reread um, for proposed adoption on December 16th. And in the meantime, it will be published. Um, and I, I believe staff's here if you have any questions. But again, it will be heard on December 16th for final adoption. OK, do we have someone that's, do we need to read this? Just the title, which I did. Okay. All right. Commissioners, do we have any questions for staff? No questions for staff. Do we need a motion on this? Not yet, on okay. December 16th. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Do you have anything else for us? Nothing else this morning, thank you. Oh, yes, I do. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, there are a couple executive sessions. If you'd like, I can do those now. Absolutely. Okay. Um, commissioners, I would ask that you pass a, a, res or a motion to go into ex executive session this morning pursuant to Colorado Revised Statute 246-402-4B and E for the purpose of receiving legal advice and negotiations regarding G.E. Johnson case. Do we have a motion? So moved. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Hansen? Right. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. And then also a motion uh, to adjourn into executive session pursuant to Colorado Revised Statute 246402-4A for the purpose of discussing potential purchase of property. Second. Commissioner Hansen? Yep. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Okay, so next Tuesday is Veterans Day. So for all the veterans listening, I want to say thank you for your service, regardless of which service you were in I do appreciate your service and just so that you know and you don't show up here next Tuesday we will not be having a public hearing next Tuesday on Veterans Day with that being said we are adjourned Thanks.